What's going on everybody? K to the 2 here with week 10 of the MPL. Uh, this is a couple weeks late. I know. I apologize. However, there really wasn't much I could do to record because I work at a grocery store and if you don't know, grocery stores get really busy in the holidays because people like to eat a lot of food. I know I like eating a lot of food. You probably eating lo you probably like eating a lot of food too. So it just happens out to be that a grocery store is a place that you go get food, right? Right. So I've been working every single day, just about, go away as well, go away, <laughs> dog. Um, but now I am here with my week 10 match that happened two weeks ago and set up the playoff matchup uh, in my conference. Uh, the... Uh, scenario for who I play in round one of the playoffs ended up being if I beat Ashley, I play zero in the first round of the playoffs, which is the semifinals. And if I lose to Ashley, I play Ashley the week just following. So, you know me, I'm going to try my best to not play the same person two weeks in a row. So, in order to do that, I am trying to get the five game win streak and push myself into the playoffs to face off against Zero in the first round because I want redemption against Zero. After his first week in the MPL, he beat me 1-0. That was a really close game and I really want redemption for that. So we are going to do, try our best to beat Ashley here. Uh, so what I brought this week was Choice Banded. Infernape. Uh, this would be able to deal a lot of damage to Tyranitar, uh, Kieran Black, uh, Terrakion if she brought it, which she ended up uh, leaving it on the bench this week. Uh, thankfully for me, though, uh, I'm also bringing a Choice Scarf Thunderous. Uh, this will ensure that I outspeed everything on her team, and I will be able to go with the Volt Turn between these uh, these two monsters, and I'm bringing the Dark Pulse for Cofagragus, which she ended up bringing, uh, picking up in free agency in order to stop Mega Heracross, because Mega Heracross just ran through her team in our Week 6 matchup. And I'm bringing the Hidden Power Flying on the Thunderous, so I can have a stab flying attack to deal with, uh, Mega Venusaur, which is a problem, and Conkeldur, which is also a problem. Uh, next up, I'm bringing a physically defensive Milotic, that way I can uh, just take general hits from her team, as well as take on Kieran Black a little bit better. Then I'm also bringing Mega Heracross, substitute three attacks. Uh, I believe it's actually a sub-punching? No, it's not sub-punch, it's just substitute three attacks. Uh, the substitute was there so I can set up a sub against the Venusaur and block the Sleep Powder. Otherwise, I just, uh, I need something to take the Sleep. Uh, so, I mean, it, it really helps with trying to set up against Mega Venusaur. Because that's who I set up last time when I got the Sweep. I'm also bringing Latios. I don't remember exactly what's on this Latios. Uh, I know it's there for the Mega Venusaur and the Conkeldur. Again, I want to have more than, like, more than just one thing on my team to deal with something, because if that thing goes away, then bye-bye my chances to winning the battle, right? Uh, next up, we have Gardevoir. It is Substitute Will-O-Wisp with Psychic and Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is there to deal with the Cofagrigus, and Psychic just does... A lot of damage to her team. The Will O Wisp is there if she realizes uh, that she can switch in her Tyranitar on my Gardevoir. And if she does that, then I can just get the Will O Wisp off. And I can also Will O Wisp the uh, Kyurem if I need to. And that's about all we have for preparation this week. So let's go ahead and get into the match. Uh, my lead matchup. I know that Thunderous outspeeds everything on our team, and I can get off a whole lot of damage against 
anything. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and lead off with the Thunderous. And right here, turn one, I was thinking, you know, uh, Dark Pulse would be nice to get off a lot of damage against her. However, I do know that it will not be able to KO unless I get a crit. So I'm not going to try and put my hands or put my fate in the hands of luck turn one. So I'm just going to go ahead and Volt Switch, get some solid damage off against this Cofagrigus. And that shows me that she's more physically defensive as she sets up the Trick Room. Now right here she switches out, she switches, sh sh man I can't talk today, wow. Uh, she switches out as I go for the U-turn because I did not expect her to stay in. So Chim Chardashian can come back and I'm going to go straight into my Gardevoir. And right here, uh, she goes for the flinch and she doesn't get it, I'm able to set up a sub. That's what kind of hindered this matchup uh, happened in the last match between us. It was Togekiss against Gardevoir, and she ended up uh, crit flinching my Gardevoir. Doesn't happen this time, so that uh, kind of made up for it. I am behind a sub now, and I can I am free to fire off a Psychic against anything on her team. And she decides to go into Venusaur, which gets bopped, just straight up O code. Uh, I'm not sure really what she was thinking there. Uh, but that's nice to get it out of the way and I can just go ahead and start firing off psychics against this uh, what do you call it uh, Conkledur so I'm just gonna go ahead and set up a substitute because I know she has the uh, the trick room up and now it's gone I can just start firing off psychics as she goes for a mock punch and right here I actually predict her uh, Tyranitar to come in because by now she should know that uh, Kyurem or Tyranitar is a good switch so I go for the will o -Wisp. however she stays in makes a good prediction and gets the gust boost and is able to knock off or knock out my sub I uh, I probably should have just killed this thing because then I would have had a just a free sub up against whatever she wanted to bring in which would have been huge for me uh, the game would have gone a, a lot smoother. However, uh, she just uh, kills me because she got the mock punch and the guts boost. Uh, but right here, I am able to set up a sub against her Conkledur, uh because I know mock punch will not be able to break a sub. And I'm just gonna set up. Oh, I'm sub SD. I didn't even realize. <laughs> uh, well, good to know. So I have a sword stance up against her, and I am free to go ahead and try and set up a sub if she wants to uh, Will-O-Wisp, but she shows the Destiny Bond, and I was really, uh, really concerned about this because it meant that she would be able to uh, knock off my uh, Heracross if she kept going for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to sword stance, and she goes for the Shadow Ball to actually break my sub, which means now I can actually... Uh, I can actually take out this Cofagrigus and not have to worry about the Destiny Bond. However, it's going to leave my Heracross at a point where any of her Pokemon can kill it. So I'm just going to decide and sack it off. I am getting way ahead of myself here. I probably should not have hit pause. Uh, so the Cofagrigus goes down. It was her, it was her main check to the Heracross, and it dies to the Heracross. So that's kind of <laughs> ironic. Uh. Right here, I just decided to sack off Heracle uh, Heracles uh, as a precaution. Uh, I here decided to go for the Psy Shock, expecting the uh, what Togekiss to come in. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a Tailwind, just because no real reason to. Uh, I brought it for the Heracross, possibly so I could get a sweep off with it. But she uh, shows the pursuit with her Tyranitar, and I am actually going to go ahead and go into my Infernape and go for the U-turn. Uh, right there, I probably overpredicted again. I could have just gone for the close combat and killed it, which would have forced in her Togekiss, which I have a switch in with my Thunderous to. 
and if I did that, the game again would have gone a little bit more smoothly. However, it's going to put her in a situation where I have to bring in my melodic, and I have to hope that I can take her out uh, with my melodic and predict correctly. So I'm going to go for the scald. Uh, she stays in and goes for the crunch in order to get off just some solid damage against me and I'm able to take out her Tyranitar with the Scald. So right here she goes for the Fusion Bolt as I go for the Scald hoping for a burn and I actually don't get it. So she's going to be able to take out my my Melodic and right here I had to decide well I can either go into Thunderous and get off a Volt Switch predicting the Togekiss to come in, or I can go into Thunderous and use Focus Blast, but that would put me at a disadvantage because I could miss, there's the 30% chance that I can miss, or she could switch in the Togekiss and it can take that really well, or I can go into my Infernape and uh, assuming she's not Scarfed, I can... Uh, fire off a close combat, but right now I'm thinking that she definitely is scarfed uh, just based on the, just the way that she's been using it. Uh, so I could get off a mock punch just to get off damage and then I could go into my Thunderous and clean up the game with Thunderbolt if I have it, uh, or HP Flying. Uh, however, I feel like choice A right there uh, puts me at the best advantage because I know Infernape can live a fusion bolt and uh, she's not going to want to stay in with the Kirim to try and take the uh, the fusion bolt because that would leave her at uh, the biggest disadvantage and it would lose her the game if I were to do it right then. So I am going to go ahead and go for the volt switch as she does stay in but she goes for the ice beam which reveals that she is not <laughs> is not I repeat is not choice guard which means I can stay in with Infernape and I can fire off flare blitz choice banded flare blitz is going to take out this gear room remove it as a threat and I am just going to be able to finish out the game with uh, Chimchardashian and Thunderous leaving me with a really really close 1-0 victory now uh, this means that week one of the playoffs, I am going up against zero, as I said early in the uh, early in the video. And wow, I am in the playoffs. I am going up against zero. Uh, over in the other bracket, in the luxury conference, we have R four going up going up against uh, Fog. And that one, the winner of those two will face the winner of us, and then the loser faces each other for the third place game. And it's just going to be a great time. It's going to be so much fun. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like on this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It shows me uh, your support for this series. Uh, and just for everybody here in the MPL, because... Uh, we all we all really enjoy doing this and if you guys enjoy it as much as we do we are going to be just as motivated if not more motivated to put out more videos and stuff so yeah see you guys next time